Hi you guys, welcome to today's video. So I am going to jump in and get started. Today's video is going to be what I got my son for his birthday and my son is turning three. I'm not sure when you'll see this video, if it will be before his actual birthday or after, but he does turn three at the beginning of September. And I wanted to film this now, that way I can go ahead and wrap his gifts and get ready for his party. But my baby is turning three, I can't believe it. So anyway, I do have a three-year-old. My name is Lindsay. I make a lot of motherhood and lifestyle content on my channel. So if you are new here, I'd love to have you. Please subscribe down below. And if you are just in need of ideas for a three-year-old boy, some gender neutral, and also like for Christmas time, like this is your video. So it doesn't have to be for a birthday. If you're just searching for somebody for Christmas or any type of gift, here, here we go. This is the video for you to watch because I have a lot of cool and unique items, which you know I'm, I'm all about that. Like with my channel, I love sharing unique products with you that you don't see often. So yeah, let's dive in, get started, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna start off. We actually gave him this first birthday gift because we thought he would really like it and it was one of those days we had to get some things done and we needed to keep him busy. He played with it for like an hour or two and then that was it. He's now afraid of this toy and he won't touch it again. But I can guarantee you he'll eventually come around to it and if you buy it for your child, your son, even daughter, I'm sure they'll love it too because it's really cool. So. The first thing we got was this functional weed whacker. And if you've seen any of my functional videos before, like functional power tools, I've done one on leaf blower, bubble leaf blower, like kids love these things and they're so neat, even for me. So this is a functional, when I, when I say functional, it doesn't actually cut, but it actually, you know, moves and stuff. So this is it, it has a handlebar. I bought it off of Amazon and then it has a handle in the back. You can move the blade up and down if you'd like. And this spins when you press the button and it glows like a, a green color. It's silicone, so if it's spinning and you happen to touch it or your child happens to touch it, they're okay. They're not gonna cut themselves. Like it's extremely flexible. I've already tried at full speed just to put my hand here to see if it would hurt even the slightest and it does not. So the button is underneath here and you just pull it and I'm gonna show you how it works and how cool it is. Okay, here we go. It also makes a lot of noise so I won't talk while I'm pressing the button. And that is it. So if you have a little boy I think this is definitely a must. Like how can a little boy not love this? And especially if you have, you know, people doing yard work outside or your neighbors are always using these things, like they can go out and do it with them and have a great time. And it's just so neat that this thing spins. And I'm actually gonna quick show you, I'm gonna stop my hand with it so you can see. Um, here we go. And that's it, didn't even hurt my hands and it won't hurt your child's hand either. It's very soft and silicone-y, so that's it. Okay, so I'll move on to the next birthday gift. So my son right now is very into motorcycles and we're actually having a motorcycle birthday and we got him previously like with the Target's uh, July toy sale, Ricky Zoom, and I had no idea who Ricky Zoom was and neither did he. And he loved the toy, he was obsessed with it. So I found this Ricky Zoom online and we started showing him like the show and stuff, so he's gotten into it. But it is so cool. It's a controller that he can control and it moves, it spins back and forth, so he can actually drive this. And the thing that I think is so neat about it, even like this picture doesn't do it justice, it's very big and heavy. Like it's a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. When you see the picture online, it looks super small. And even like now that I'm looking in the camera, it looks pretty small. This thing is big. Like here's my hand and it like is past my hand. And I'd say it's pretty heavy. So it's really cool. I'm gonna show you when you press this button up in here, it pops a wheelie. So here. That's how you get it to pop a wheelie. And then the controller is super easy since it only has two buttons. Um, that way, you know, it's probably like forward and backwards. I haven't done it yet but I know that you can pop a wheelie and then have it spin around as well with using the controller. So I just think this is something he'll love. He always loved things like with controllers. We've had a helicopter before. We've had a um, 
you know, different cars with controllers and either like the batteries died or they broke or they got lost. So he'll be very happy to have another controller toy again that he can play with in the house. And this one is a lot simpler than the ones we've had in the past because it's just two buttons. Um, the age on this is three plus, so it will definitely be age appropriate for him. I will link everything below, including this. If you have a little boy who loves motorcycles, this might be your gift. Okay, my next gift. He, he hasn't asked for like this in particular. He asked for motorcycles, he's asked for a weed whacker, but Caleb Yule is my favorite YouTuber. And she's amazing, you have to check her out. She's very like, um, doesn't sugarcoat anything. Like, okay, my house is a mess and I have two kids. Like you, what you see is what you get, love her. But anyway, she purchased this at the Target July toy sale and she recommended it to all of her viewers that it's called A Little Live Pets and it is so neat. When she showed it on her stories on Instagram, you put it in the water and it's actually like, it acts like a live fish. Like it swims around and then once it swims around for so long, you can pretend to feed it with like this little pink thing that looks like a bottle and it's magnetic. So it will follow around as you drag it around the tank. And then it comes with these two decorations and this is the tank in itself. And then as you can see, these little black dots on the fish are the water sensors. So if the fish like eventually doesn't swim as much, you just take it out, you dry those sensors with the towel. And then when you put it back in, it will start swimming again. It's really neat. You have to check it out. So if you're looking for a pet, if your child's asking for a pet and you don't want to buy one that is going to be floating in the tank or when you have to clean out the tank, remember to feed go on vacation, come back and it's floating. You don't have to worry about any of that, which is very cool. So they have this and then I know that the Little Life Pets, they have like a parrot or a bird. We have that one. So we like you speak to it and then it speaks back. It repeats your words. And Kayla had said that there's a hamster as well that I guess spins in a wheel. But I thought we would start with this fish. I think it's really neat and I think he'll love it. If you would just see it, like I think any kid would love it because they could put their hand, you know, play with it, sensory play, get messy with water, or it can just sit on the counter. So here is a little live pet fish that will not die. Okay, the next thing that I got him was a set of dominoes. So it's just a regular set of dominoes. They did have ones for like, I don't know if it was Melissa and Doug. One of them was for like more age appropriate and like wooden Montessori. I just went with like the $7 domino set. And the reason I got this is because we purchased the chunky number puzzle for him from Melissa and Doug. It's like one to 20 and they're very, very large. And how I taught him those numbers is we would line them up as we would say the numbers and then we would knock them over like they were dominoes and he loves it. And it was like a great way to teach him his numbers one to 20. So I thought, why not get the actual dominoes and we can make like zigzags and whatnot and we can knock them over. So he won't, you know, at first be able to do them completely all by himself but I'll be able to set them up for him and he'll be able to knock them over. We can do it again and again. So this set comes with 55 dominoes and it does say ages eight and plus, but that's to like play the actual game. We're just gonna use these to knock them over and make a creation. So got him a set of dominoes. Next thing I got was this RC racer boat. We went to the park maybe like in April, and there was somebody with a boat that they had built in the water at the park, and it comes with a controller, the boat's functional, and then we went to Monterey this past summer and someone else did the same. So they're very common around here, and we're like, we have to get him a boat. Even if he can't do it, like, he loves to just watch it. So since it's nice here, like, most of the year, and his birthday's in September, we got him one for his birthday. We could probably even give it to him for Christmas because it's nice, year round. If he lived on the East Coast, I probably wouldn't get it for his birthday. But anyway, here it is. I will open it up just to show you. It's an RC racer boat and it's fairly inexpensive. I think it was like $23. You can find some for like $54, but I just went the $23 route. So let me show you. Here is the boat and we did put batteries in it already. Here's the two propellers in the back. So it's pretty good, like a good size. Here's my hand. Could technically hold it with two hands and then it comes with an extra battery so we already have one in the boat it's inside here 
so then that way it stays away from the water and then here's another one just in case if anything happens to that and the reason I purchased this one is because it comes with a very simple controller so all you have to do is just pull this back like this so he could probably eventually figure out how to do it it's like a gun whereas the other ones come with like the there's like four knobs and you have to move them that's too complicated for him so we got this so there I just put the battery in and when I put it in the lights start blinking I don't know if you can see right here and it does come with a USB so you can charge it and the reason for the second one is in case water gets in it so this uh, charges the battery if you need to be recharged and then just as a backup it does come with an extra so I'm gonna show you I just have it off for now the top but I'm gonna show you how it works ready So it moves pretty fast now this is dangerous there is a warning sign so if your child is young i would not let them touch this um i'm not even going to let lennox touch it but we will do it for him and he'll enjoy it just as much and there is no on and off button so if you want these lights to stop blinking and stuff on the boat you're going to have to take the battery out each time so there's not like an on and off switch i just want to put that out there Okay, so that is my demonstration of the boat. I think either girl boy would love this. I think it's even fun for adults. I enjoyed watching it when the guy was at the park doing it. So I would recommend this for the price. I think it's really, really good. Next thing I got him that we see a lot around here are these large airplanes. Um, they're like a styrofoam and they are fairly big. I think they're like $7, $9, very cheap. It comes with a pack of two. So if you have more than one child, um, there you go. You don't have to buy two separately. They come as a set. Um, they actually didn't sell any singles or if they did, they were priced a lot higher. So I just went with this pack. They, they come like where you have to assemble them yourself. So I'll show you like the size, but I won't actually put them together and you can actually fly them like, but since they're so large, like they fly very well and they're just like, kind of like on the heavier side and, uh, just made well all around. So it comes with a blue and a red as you can see and look how they're like pretty big so we'll have to put this together so it looks like there's just um three parts for each one so i'm not going to put it together now or assemble it or anything like that but i think he'll really love this and again it's nice here like all the time so lucky us we'll get to go out the field and throw it around and have fun Okay, so the next thing we got Lennox was a saxophone. So he is very, very obsessed with instruments. He loves like guitars, he loves pianos, he loves saxophones, he loves xylophones, and we actually never got him like a whole musical instrument set. Um, he doesn't have like the whole shebang with like the maracas and the triangle, which I should probably eventually get for him because I think he'll really like it. But anyway, we went to a park and there was this group of guys playing saxophones and he was so into it. He wouldn't stop talking about it. He loves playing his guitar and his piano. So we got him a functional saxophone and I will take it out for you. Again, this was fairly inexpensive. I feel like it was like $9, maybe 14 at the most. So here it is. And I remember they used to have these when I was a kid. So it comes with all the colorful buttons. He said he wanted a gold one, but they didn't have gold. So this is gonna have to do. And then at the top is where you blow. But my husband tried it and says you have to do it very lightly, otherwise it won't work. I don't know, I feel like you have to blow pretty hard. But there you go, I'm not, I'm not a musician. Hopefully my son will be, but I am not. So there you go, got him a cute little saxophone. And this company also sells a four key trumpet and an eight key clarinet. So if you wanna try out any of those instruments and it's extremely light, this thing weighs nothing. But he'll be very happy when he sees this. This might even be one of his favorites. I think like the boat and stuff, he won't understand at first. Okay, so next, I don't know if you've, how recently you've seen my Instagram stories, but I show how like I let him pretend grocery shop and I'll lay out like a box of macaroni and cheese, a few cans of beans, and I'll let him pretend to grocery shop with them. We made like a pretend scanner out of cardboard. But anyway, 
because he's so into it, I happened to see that Melissa and Doug was having a sale at the time that I was shopping for his birthday. So I kind of went a little crazy with the Melissa and Doug. I'm probably going to hang on to some of this stuff for Christmas just because this is already a lot. But this I'll give him to his for his birthday. It is a Fresh Mart grocery store and he is going to love it. Like it comes with this apron. It comes with this bag. It comes with like the cereals, this box of broccoli, the linguine. It looks like it even comes with money. It has 70 plus pieces, which I find I'm kind of nervous. Like this is a small box, so I don't know how all that can fit in there, but we'll find out. So it, the main purpose of this is to buy it with the register, which I think is fairly expensive. It's like $300, $400. It has a scanner and everything. He is going to die. Like he's going to love playing with this. And it even has like the checkout line stuff for the grab and go favorite. So it has a magazine. It has the gum. Like he is going to be in heaven. Even I think it's pretty cool. So it does come with the coins and stuff and all of these uh, boxes. So I think it will be very, very fun. It also comes with coupons. It says like buy one, get one free. It has credit charge, the savings card. That's pretty cool. It also has a grocery checklist. So it has a tuna fish can, alphabet soup, butter, sandwich cookies, rice, cereal, and he is just going to have a grand time. The only thing it doesn't come with is the actual register itself, which I said it looks fairly pricey. I mean, he probably would really love that, especially considering it scans. But this is going to have to do for now. It, it even has a chapstick for the checkout line. That's so cute. This stuff is going to get lost. So I will link this down below as well. It I, I don't know if it was maybe $40, but it was discounted when I got it. It was probably around like $24, $29. I got it at a good deal, which is why I snatched it. But I'll link it. You can check it out. Maybe wait till Black Friday and see if they have any other sales and then you can get it. And then these are the two items I'm going to hang on for for Christmas just because he's already getting a lot and also because I feel like he's not quite ready for this yet. I don't think he's right quite there. This is actually for age four and up, but like I said, Melissa and Doug was having a huge sale, so I couldn't pass it up. I've been eyeing these up since he was a baby. So to teach him how to spell, they have fish, and then you have to spell the word fish and bus and just a bunch of different ones. So I think that will be great since we're working on phonics right now. I can kind of, you know, initiate the the reading process and sounding out words. So that's what this is for. I think he'll be a lot more mature by Christmas and even next year, but I don't always see Melissa and Doug stuff go on sale, so I get it when I can. I think they do that because when Christmas time comes around, they bring out new stuff, so they wanna get rid of the old stuff. So picked up this, and then the other thing I'm gonna hang on to to wait to give him, this is for ages three and up, so hopefully he'll be able to do this soon, but I'm probably gonna hang on to it for Christmas is this little, what's it called, a pattern blocks and boards. So basically they have to find the correct color and object or shape and match it to each of the boards to create this picture. So I think that's great. I think it's great fine motor. I think it's great like learning shapes and colors and following directions and concentrating. So this will be fun. It will take some time for him to get it, but I think if I wait to give it to him, he will be much better off. So this is a little bit more lengthier than I thought, but I love making these videos. I love my son. I like, you know, getting stuff for him to an extent. I, I try and save it up for like the holidays, like birthday and his Christmas. So here it is. This is what he's getting. And I hope it gives you ideas if you're looking for either your son, your grandson, a friend, something for Christmas for somebody. And even some of this is gender neutral. You have these um, Melissa and Doug things that are completely gender neutral. This fish is gender neutral. The saxophones, a lot of it is gender neutral. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button below and like this. That way I will make a great one for Christmas as well. So make sure you come back to see that toys video. But if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more like it in the future, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.